Hello and welcome to the Absolute Beginner's Guide for Rhino. In this episode, we will be going over 3D printing. So, for 3D printing, what we want to do is we want to delete any hatching of any sort that we have. We want to just select the sketch that we have. So, in this case, this is a Darth Vader. And then we delete all the pictures and everything from the background. So, now that we have our Darth Vader alone, we want to stretch this out into something tangible that we can print. So first what we want to do is we want to go and hover over the top button and then double click it. So then now that we're greeted with the place that has four viewports, we go ahead and double click the perspective viewport. So this is the place that we create most of our 3D objects. And we can see the 3D objects in this viewport way better than the top viewport. So when we're doing 3D, most of the stuff happens in perspective. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select our drawing and then we want to go to the command line and then type in exclude curve, curve as in line and then CRV stands for curve slash line and then enter. So then as you guys can see we are making our first 3D model. So this is a 3D object. So what we want to do is we want to, we don't want to just select the height by like changing the height of our mouse and what we want to do is we want to go to the command line and actually type the height so it's in this case one one inch then enter so now we have something tangible to see so first what we want to do is we want to press the drop down button and then go and change it from wireframe to shaded so wireframe has like a bunch of lines as you guys can see but then shaded actually looks like something that just came out from the 3D printer. So I personally prefer perspective. So this is what we're going to be using for the sake of the video. So now what we want to do is we want to select the command over here that looks like a box and then we press it. So then for this part we need to go to the top viewport, put the box around it, and then right here it says height so we can either go to the top viewport and press the height in the command bar or we can just do it from the top viewport but just for the sake of the viewers seeing this and seeing the animations and stuff I'm gonna go to the perspective viewport and then type in one in the command line as in one inch and then enter so now we have our box but then this won't actually show anything because the Darth Vader is inside and it's not poking out or it's not like inside so what we want to do is we want to empty out the Darth Vader so the outside is like a regular box but then the inside the parts that are missing are the Darth Vader so we're going to do exactly that with a command called boolean difference in the command line we type in boolean difference then enter select surfaces to subtract from so we want to subtract from the box and keep so we want to keep the box so what we want to keep we press first and then enter to continue enter then select the poly surfaces to subtract width so what we don't want to keep essentially and then we go ahead and select our Darth Vader and then enter so then now we have a box with a Darth Vader inside but then just like the laser cut this actually doesn't do anything because if we print this for example we print this we have this box but then we also have a random pieces inside it's so like this, like, what are you going to do with this? So, what we need to do is we need to press Control z And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box under it so these random parts bind in with the box. So, we go to the top viewport and then select the box command. Have O snap turned on so it snaps and then end and mirror also turned on in the O snap settings. So we snap to the end of this part and then to the end of this part. And then, since we want it to be, like, between this part, we put the height as less than one inch so that we can actually have some of the Darth Vader visible. So we're going to go for 0 0.5 in the command line and enter. So then now, this is on top, but we will quickly fix that from the front viewport. So as you guys can see, this is what we've been working on, and this is the box that we just created. So with the green line, I guess we could pull it down. But then that's actually not that accurate. So what we want to do is we want to click on the green line and then type in negative one, 
so it brings it down negative one inches and since this guy is one inch it brings it down exactly to the precise location that we want it and we have this guy so yeah that's basically an intro to 3d printing so if you guys like 3d printing like this video and subscribe for more Rhino tutorials and 3D printing tutorials because I will be releasing a 3D printed dedicated tutorial in the future. So subscribe to not miss out on the fun and bye.